day, this is Dill, and today we are reviewing Desert Animals 5 RC Car. So we had an RC car a month or so ago and we enjoyed playing with it and now we've got this slightly larger, more powerful RC car to try out. Yeah. It looks pretty cool in the box, doesn't it? Yeah, but it also comes in a different colour. Yeah, I think we can get red ones and green ones. Yeah. Let's have a look at that. Is the See that picture, so we can get a red or a green. What colour do you think we've got? I think we've got probably green because it shows on the yeah, top. Yeah, it does show on the top, doesn't it? So this RC car is from uh, Top Event RC, the company. Don't really know much about it because all of the technical stuff doesn't mean much to me. 2.4G technology, four-wheel drive, ready to run, strength shock, 4x4 four four suspension. It's quite fast, it says it goes at 13 kilometers an hour. 20, no, 23 kilometers an hour. It's the maximum speed that can be reached. It can go off-road and it can go in the desert. Although, we haven't got many deserts near us, have we, so. Well, if we could try it on a beach. We could try it on a beach, that's a really good idea. Oh. This is quite a big RC car, Theodore. Look at that. So we've got the car. We've got this little box here, I'm not sure what it is. I'm guessing it's batteries. Underneath we've got quite a big chunky looking, quite a big chunky looking remote. Um, and we've got some instructions. So shall we get all this cutting out of the way and then have a look at what we've got? Yeah. I think it might be like that last one, which has that bouncy starting thing where you can press it down and it's like really springy. That really springy suspension? Yeah. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? So hopefully it's got some pretty springy suspension. If it's an off-roader, it should have. There you go. It does have the springy suspension. Woo! It's time for the remote. There's the remote. That's a pretty cool remote, isn't it? Pretty big remote. It's like the same one we had there. So it's, it's, it's bigger. Like... It's got the same. It steers in the same way, so it's got a, a thing, a wheel to turn it, and a trigger. It's not like the remotes that we had on remote control cars when I was a kid. What? What? They were different. These, this like trigger style remote. Mine, the ones when I was a kid, they just had two things, and you did them like oh, that. Oh, I have a couple of those. Yeah. So, in the little box, we have got. Wicked, we have got a 9 volt battery, I think that's for the remote. We've got a USB charging cable, oh a screwdriver. And we have got a battery pack. Now this battery pack will be charged up via the USB and that will go in the car and then this bad boy will go in the remote. Yeah that's right, so we've got the car battery. Here it is, and then we've got the battery for the remote, and both the batteries are in the car, that's pretty cool. We didn't even need batteries for the remote. I'm really impressed with that. So what do we think about this car? Let's have a look at it. That's, it's pretty big, isn't it? It's got a yeah. nice springy suspension. Just spell it at the back. It looks mean. It looks mm, like an aggressive monster truck. I like it. Uh, I like that style on the wheels, like that. Um, you know those picture things, I like that. What, the, the grip on the wheels? Yeah, Yeah, I the like grip it. looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like it would really be able to get a grip on a, on a tough surface. Oh, Nice remember. big wheels as well, nice big wheels. Okay, so, look at the awesome, what's it called again? The Desert Animals 5. The Desert Animals 5, so what do we need to do with it now, Theo? Play with it. Got to charge the batteries first, oh. mate. Oh. How long does it say the batteries take to charge? Let's have a look. Four hours to charge the batteries. Brilliant. So four hours to charge the batteries, and then we'll be able to play with it. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's get it charged up then. Woo!
Win one of the races, I definitely won. And it really can grip because when you um, drive into the curve, it actually goes up the curve. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Bye.